So for the skinning, it's gonna be very easy. Um, just need to skin three, well, four, actually four joints that are these ones. And we're gonna use also these static joints. So let's first go here and static join. And in the mode sliding, select the geometry. And I'm gonna use my marking menu just to create the bind skin. So just let me unhide this and hide this. So now we go to our ng skin tools. In my case, you can use your tool of choice, so that's mandatory, of course. And uh, let's see what we have here. So if I paint, it's just a random thing. It's not that bad, actually. You can straight use almost this one, but we're gonna just paint all these to the um, to the static joint. So everything is static now. So this doesn't move anything. And now we're gonna come here and select some loops on the lips. Grow the selection. I think around there maybe less there and just unselect the internal part. so I'm just gonna go on the side and all this unselect okay so we have that now select this tree and go here edit weights and assign so I'm just gonna click paint here so we see the colors in real time edit weights and assign so we have this nice so last we go to paint again paint and I'm just gonna well, I'm gonna move to show you what you have now so you have this effect already and just let me hide these elements so we don't select the ones that are become the ghost ones so this one so you can see that it's a slide in the mouth it's already having the effect and but it's very planar because we didn't smooth this so we just need to paint and again I just duplicate my layer here so I'm just gonna smooth brute force to see what I get around there looks like okay so when you have this paint color like this you can override the material so you see the deformation I have also a hotkey that can hide the wireframe on selection so it's very convenient so you don't see wireframe so you see that now we have this slide in his mouth and also we can just select the sides and we can have this kind of effect and here let me paint again and let me show again the geometry so it's pinching so maybe you want to take the corner a little bit and again I'm just gonna create a new duplicated of this layer so if I mistake or I don't like what I'm doing I just delete the layer so it's no big problem and just add in with a very slow value just add in just like eyeballing a little bit it is quite dirty but and we can just open oh, no, like this so we see a little better what we are doing and just remove this again this it's gonna be something that we use to get there it doesn't need to be perfect now later we will do like this corrective line shapes that does the perfect uh, shape but this is important because it's important to to have a, a good reach and because this is not a linear deformation like the, the blend shape it's a linear vector from point a to point b you get this curvature this fluid movement on your um on your mouth and this is what we are looking for and uh, yeah I'm not pretty happy with this but it's um it's okay the other thing that we can do I'm um, sorry it's, this is uh, like I don't know if you hear the noise background it's um, here in Japan we have some kind of 
city hall announcements on the speakers on the street. Anyway, um, so here, um, what I want to do now is um, to show you something that you can do. I'm not going to do it for this tutorial, but you can do it if you want. It's like this is still there. This is the ghost one. And the ghost one, you see, this is a sliding, so it's locked to the slider. But the ghost one, it's not. So if you check here, the ghost, um, you, you, I connected the scale. Remember, we connected this here on the scaling uh, but the the connection itself is done through the uh, uh, parent of this slider element so it's still free so maybe you can do something like a double local uh, connections thing to another control and you have this offset control also in your hands so you have like two controls I did it sometimes not always I, I do it but sometimes it's uh, useful anyway for the moment I'm just gonna hide again and now I have this cool I like more than the other side so I'm just gonna come here in mirror selection so we have both and again it's not perfect the volume it's kind of ugly it's uh, so so but it's okay it's 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 good enough for what we want okay so now that we have this already we don't need to delete even this so we just need to go on the uh, again just let me go to my files here build assets so we go for you know, data now multi sliding and again we need to create one folder that's called skin and inside the skin just gonna export this one so in gear skinning ASCII and even if it's only one object I always export the skin pack okay so we have that now the only thing remains is come here and uncomment this now we can just I'm just gonna save a version here just in case but it's not needed just gonna delete this delete the geo root and build again so now that it's building oh so data multi slide skin pack it's a uh, build data no such file or directory what multi slide multi sliding ay 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 so again um here my custom step it's called mold slide and I here I, I use it this multi sliding uh, folder so remember it's important to match perfectly this one so I think I was using yeah the naming from the all uh, custom step sorry for that no big deal just stop delete and build again so that's I mean this is happen all the time always like I always do these little mistakes that's normal and especially uh, yeah if you do it like for the first time once you have your first rig for a project it's easier because you, you already have set up everything so you just copy paste and reuse because that's the that's the goal to reuse everything okay so now we have the setup I'm not gonna show you this one already what I'm gonna show you is the the proportions itself and the proportions only contains the geometry so it is the problem so what I want to show you now is that now I can open and this is a sliding because it's connected with this connection here that is keeping the live connection and now look at that this can be moved here and the mouth will open and you still have this option to move the mouth like that and well here it's gonna be ugly but if you have the mouth closed you can play here with a full care so you can see if you go straight it's going there of course this is very rough deformation what we need now is to create these corrective plane shapes that make the shape the the appealing of the character uh, perfect or well 
a less better. I don't think it's gonna be perfect, but but yeah, that's it. So now we can just go here, scale my face, put the small face here. Move the cursor. Just let me show this. So you can still move this. Put this super face here, and then open the mouth, and everything is working, and it's a uh, good, good uh, starting for these lips to start having more, and more control and more flexibility. Okay, so that's it for this video and see you in the next one. Bye.